and welcome to Teal House Farm. If you're new here, my name is Laura and I'm a mom of six, wife to Sam, and we live on a small homestead focused on sustainability. We homeschool homestead and I do a lot of old-fashioned homemaking and we are so happy to have you join us today. If you're new and you like this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. We would love to hear from you and we'd love to see you again. Today, I'm going to talk about something I'm passionate about. I'm going to talk about cloth diapers and I'm specifically going to talk about why you don't need to drop $300 on a set of newborn cloth diapers if you want a cloth diaper from birth. Now if you're like me, your budget probably looks a little more like this than like this. And cloth diapering a newborn definitely seems unaffordable. I mean, if you just were to Google newborn cloth diapers, the first thing that are going to show up are these fancy schmancy little cute all-in-one or pocket diapers. Just teeny tiny, so cute, cute little prints. But they range from 10 to $12 each. Each! And a newborn is going to need a set of 24 diapers if you want to do diaper laundry every other day. And before you think that I'm overestimating that to explode the numbers, let me tell you what happens with newborns. They pee and poop all the time, all day. A disposable diaper will need to be changed between eight to 10 times a day on a newborn. A cloth diaper will need to be changed somewhere around 12 to 14 times a day on a newborn. So if you do the math and you're going to wash diapers every other day, that's every other day for quite a while, so if you figure 24 diapers at somewhere around 10 to $12 each, you're looking around $250 to $300 for a full set. Now you don't know, your baby might be born and be very tiny. My last baby was barely seven pounds. That's a little guy. And he's almost two months old and is just now getting up to 10 pounds where he will probably start to fit in the larger diapers. But even that's a stretch. Those manufacturer recommendations, I think they're a little low. I think babies don't really fit in the larger size all-in-ones or pocket diapers until they're more like 12 pounds. So for him, a set of newborn diapers would have lasted us two to three months. That's, that's a decent. It's still a lot of money though. Some people, including me, have had very large babies. My biggest baby was about nine pounds. I know people who've had 10 and 11 pound babies. You would have bought those newborn diapers and maybe used them for a week or maybe not at all. It would have been a huge waste of money. If you want a cloth diaper and newborn, you need to do it the way that my grandparents did it, which may be your great grandparents if you're a generation behind me. And you need to use the traditional, old fashioned, the original cloth diaper. Flat diapers? or pre-fold diapers. No, they aren't cute. And yes, they're a little harder to use. It does take a little bit of practice, but for generations and generations, this is what women use to diaper their babies. And they work great. They're much, much cheaper. And once you get the hang of it, they're pretty convenient to use. Now, as far as cost savings, I did a quick little Google and, um, if you go with the least expensive option, which is the flat diaper with an unexciting, non-cute set of diaper covers. So we're gonna need 24 flats and four covers, two for each day. You alternate them when you change and then by the end of the day, they get a little stinky smelling and you wash them and use your next set the next day. That will cost you between 45 and $50. The more expensive diapers, which are the pre-folds, which are a little bit easier to use, and getting cute covers with cute prints, will run you about $80 for a set of newborns. Now, it is important to know that newborn sizes for these type of diapers, the pre-folds or the flat diapers and these covers, last longer. They tend to last to closer to 18 pounds. Patton is seven weeks old and he's just under 10 pounds, so he is going to be playing the role of the newborn today and modeling the diapers for us. The flat 
diaper is just a very large square of fabric, we're going to go ahead and fold it in half and then fold it in half again to make a smaller square. Then pull the corner on the back to create a nice triangle shape, flip it over and fold in that side that's hanging out. This makes extra absorbency in the middle of the diaper. This goes under the baby with the long edge of the triangle under the butt. I went ahead and put a disposable here on Patton just for his privacy. You obviously wouldn't need that. Um, we go ahead and pull up through the legs and then roll around the back of the legs so it's nice and tight. And now you can either tie this in a knot or you can use a snappy or diaper pin to secure. A tie works fine on a newborn. The pre-fold goes under the baby long ways and you're going to fold in the top corners just a bit to make little triangles and pull it up through the baby's legs. Fold over any excess, just if it's too tall for the baby, and then pull in those corners. If you need a little more material, just unfold a little bit from the top. And then you need to secure this with a diaper pin or I like to use these snappies because there's no chance that you're going to poke the baby. Now for either the flat diaper or this pre-fold, you will need to use a diaper cover just to protect uh, leaks from coming through the clothes. This is a double gusset, which just helps us get a little extra protection around the legs, but the single ones work fine. Uh, we're just going to snap that right on the baby. You can adjust the rise on these just like you can on a pocket diaper. So as he grows, we can make this cover larger with him. And we're going to check the legs, make sure there's no diaper peeking out. There we go. Tuck it under and you will be protected from leaks. For storage, I use these half height cubby boxes. So these are only about six inches tall instead of the 10 to 12 you usually see. And I love these because they are exactly the same height of the shelves on my bookshelf in our master bedroom and I can just slide them right in the bookshelf. They fit great. And I have one that is the flats folded in squares and the pre-folds and one that is all of my different covers and my liners if I want to use those. Two things that I want to add that I feel like help diaper newborn but aren't necessary um, are these fleece liners. Now this one is just a fleece liner. It has no extra absorbency. This is a fleece liner that has extra absorbency sewn on the back. You place these directly on top of your flat or your prefold diaper so that the fleece part is up against the baby's skin. And what they do is wick away the moisture. So the flannel never actually feels that wet up against the baby. Um, which allows the baby to get a better sleep when it's sleeping time because they don't get woken up immediately by that wet feeling. I do think that it's super important to make something really clear about cloth diapers. If you're going to be successful cloth diapering any baby, especially a newborn, you need to have the correct expectations. Cloth diaper and disposable diapers are not the same. Cloth diapers are not supposed to work like disposable diapers. They are not the same. It's very important to accept that it is going to be not the same. There are three things you need to be willing to accept in order to be successful in cloth diapering, especially a newborn. Number one, you're going to change a lot more diapers. Number two, they are going to be a lot bulkier. It's going to be harder to get cute little outfits on your baby. Number three, you are going to have to deal with the poop. These things aren't impossible to overcome. As I said before, generations and generations of women use these kind of diapers and use them quite happily. Disposables came around and one of the reasons that they're so popular is because they're a lot easier to use. You don't have to worry about the poop. Side note. If you read your disposable package, you'll notice that you are supposed to be worrying about the poop. We are not supposed to be throwing poop away. Disposable or cloth, you are supposed to be dumping and flushing. PSA. So knowing all that, why should I bother cloth diapering a newborn? Or any baby for that matter? Well, it can be a considerable amount of money savings. Not the newborn by him or herself. But if you cloth diaper for the whole two to three years that an average child is in diapers, it adds up. 
For me, with six kids, by the time number six here gets to the end of his diapering days, it's going to translate to thousands of dollars saved. Also, disposable hygiene products like baby diapers and feminine hygiene products make up a humongous proportion of the trash that Americans throw out every day. This is a simple way to keep things that don't decompose out of our landfills. Thanks so much for watching. Little man's getting hungry, so we're gonna go eat. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.